Hey guys and welcome back to Morg's Menu. So today I'm going to be doing another favorites video for just some random products and things that I've been loving recently. Haven't done one of these in a couple of months now and I had some products that I wanted to share with you. This isn't specific to Amazon like ones I've done before, just kind of in general products that I've really been liking and really been using. I also tried to make sure all of the products were stuff that you can get online right now because obviously that is where most people are doing their shopping or doing, you know, pick up from places so wanted to make sure that these are still items that you can get your hands on right now if you want to so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so for today's video we have a combo of a bunch of random things i've got beauty items i have skincare items i have work items i have snacks and games, all sorts of different stuff today. So we'll go ahead and start with the makeup items. If you saw my last Get Ready With Me video, you heard me talk about these two things already, but it is going to be the Juvia's Place Foundation and the Jaclyn Hill Moonlight Powder. Specifically, I wanted to kind of talk about these together because that is how I use them most often. The Juvia's Place is the Velvety Matte Foundation. It's really, really nice. As I talked about in that video, it is very, very full coverage. So if you're someone who likes to go for, you know, a more like tinted moisturizer look, you wouldn't like this. But if you are someone who wants something with a little more full coverage, I really like this. I don't even have to use concealer with it because it really takes care of any redness. Um, you know, dark circles in my eyes, all that good stuff. So really like it um, and it's really affordable. You can get this at Ulta. You probably can get it other places too, but I got it specifically at Ulta. So I'll link it down below. Really, really like this, especially if you are like me and you have combination skin. I really like this because it really kind of mattifies that everything down, really prevents a lot of my oils and stuff from coming through. And then to take that madness and then make it back into dewy, which is how I just prefer my skin to look, I put on the Jaclyn Hill mood light powder um this one is in the shade do me but i actually also just ordered another shade the brighten up shade because i wanted to you know try a different one and it is on sale now for 30 percent off and that's why i got a second one because i love it so much um and it's on sale right now and it's got free shipping so i was like okay i'm gonna get my hands on this i use this one more not just paired with this i actually have it on right now i like to also put it on top of my tinted moisturizer, which is more about my like everyday or like my work makeup that I use. So I'll put this all over the face, just kind of give me kind of, again, that glow from within look like I talked about in the Get Ready With Me video. It just gives you a really nice overall kind of doing this, just really blurring, a good blurring effect to the skin. Really, really like it. Again, it's on sale right now, so if you wanted to try this, I definitely recommend it. Kind of transitioning from makeup, we'll go into a skincare item. So that is going to be this Thayer's Witch Hazel. As you can see, I'm almost out. I need to get a new bottle, um, but I really like this as a toner. This one is in the Rose Petal fragrance. It doesn't have a huge fragrance. I might get the non-fragrance one next time, to be honest, because you really can't smell it anyway. And um, I try and kind of use products with less fragrances as I can, but really just like how this is. It's alcohol free, so it doesn't have any burnings or anything like that. I just, especially like right now, a lot of days I'm not wearing makeup. So if I, you know, wash my face in the morning or wash it in the evening, I try not to wash my face with like full on cleanser more than once a day, just so I'm not stripping it too much and things like that. So this is nice to kind of like feel really feel refreshed if I shower the night before and you know wash and everything and I wake up the next morning and I don't necessarily want to wash again um, I can use something like this and it kind of gets really feels like my skin is cleansed again um, you know just getting off that any dirt or anything sweat or anything that's happened during the night it also helps sometimes if like I remove my makeup with um, those reusable wipes that I've talked about before and it doesn't get everything off this will help kind of take off anything that may have been left over too. So really like this. Um, I know you can get this at Target, Amazon, Ulta, all those different places. So definitely recommend this if you're looking for a toner. And I bought, this lasted me for like a year. So nice size bottle and it's really affordable. And then another kind of beauty, I guess, related item is this Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner by Shea Moisture. I started using leave-in conditioner when I was highlighting my hair blonde for those of you who don't know me in my personal life. Right before I started my YouTube channel up for about a year and a half or maybe even two years, I was doing kind of like a balayage blonde on my hair. So obviously lightening it, you know, pretty consistently. I did make my hair drier and frizzier. So that's when I really started getting into using leave-in conditioner more often just to one, help with the tangles when I got out of the shower because my hair is 
really long too just to help with the frizz so that's kind of what got me started on it and I started off using the sprays because I would do you know drench my hair in it because my hair was so dry um, and it would really help but then once I started going back to closer to my natural color and kind of just adding the in the red highlights that I have going on now my hair is kind of back to its normal state so to speak and it's not nearly as dry so I was finding that these sprays were just kind of giving me moisture in places where I didn't want it, but I still wanted to use it for, like I said, the frizziness and the ends of my hair. So that's when I switched over to using a more cream leave-in conditioner. I have used this brand spray one, so if you are someone who has really dry hair or just you know, you prefer a spray leaving conditioner. I'll try and link that one down below as well. I've used a couple bottles that really liked it. And so that's kind of how I found out about this brand. And then, but I really just like being able to use this one now because I can really control where it goes on my hair. I can just put a little bit on my fingers and rub it into the ends and the parts of my hair that tend to get more frizzy and tangly. So I really like this. It also smells really good. And honestly, I've had this since before Christmas and I don't know how well you can tell on camera, but it, I've literally used like a tenth of it maybe. It's gonna last me such a long time. And it's kind of a more natural product as well. It has a long list of things that it doesn't contain, you know, parabens, sulfates, all that good stuff. It also is, you know, good for colored hair. Just really recommend this if you're looking for a new leave-in conditioner to try. So the next thing I wanna talk about is a game. This is called Bounce Battle. I actually got this for Christmas and I really, really like it. So as you can kind of see here, it has like a bottom wooden platform and the wooden part has like little pointed like stakes almost. <laughs> there you can kind of see a little bit better. They go straight up and then it kind of creates place to hold all of these little ping pong balls. So it has a bunch of different games in here that you can play. So basically the premise is you put the wooden thing down and you try and bounce the balls um, so that they stick down into the little crevices that the wood create. And there's, like I said, there's a bunch of different things. You can do it where you try and get tic-tac-toe. You can do it where you use all the balls, where you just try and get it in as quick as you can, faster than the person you're playing against. You can play with teams. Um, it's really cool but it's kind of one of those things where you're going to be standing up and doing this um, so it kind of gets you a little more movement than a typical board game would right now and it's just really fun it would be really fun for you know when we can have more people over <laughs> and you know would be good for like a party or something like that but also good for just two people right now or you could just get it and play by yourself right now and get really good at it before you show it with your friends so really recommend this game so I'm moving in a kind of opposite direction um, but I wanted to talk to you guys about this new bag that I got recently from Target for work. So I work in an office situation, always carry my lap, work laptop home with me, you know, in my lunchbox and things like that. And I was just, the bag that I had before didn't zip up. So it was big and it would fit my laptop and my lunchbox, but then I had to carry a whole separate purse because I didn't want to put all my wallet and keys and stuff in something that didn't zip up. So then I was carrying a big purse and then a bag for my other things. So it was just like too much and I wanted to get something that I could fit both my laptop and my purse things in. And so I found this one at Target. As you can see, it's pretty big, but it's um, pretty thin. So it's not like an overwhelming, like huge tote bag. It has a pocket on the inside for my laptop. It has some, you know, some other normal purse pockets that you have. It has a pocket on the outside here. I really also just like this color this gray is really pretty kind of nice and neutral it also has the handles here as well as a longer handle so you can kind of carry it on your shoulder or on your arm or in your hand however you want to do it this doesn't necessarily fit my big lunchbox I've shown that in a video before too because that lunchbox is huge but it just makes it so much easier to be able to throw this over my shoulder and just carry my smaller lunchbox rather than have like both of my big bags and it was really affordable from Target I'll link it down below it comes in a couple different colors but just definitely recommend this if you are needing, you know, a travel bag or a work bag or something like that, it's really nice. In a similar category, I also wanted to talk to you about the leggings that I'm wearing today. So I'll try and back up a little bit here so hopefully you can see them. I just wanted to show these leggings because I got them from Amazon and they're actually so comfortable. They're really nice specifically because they have this pocket here and they have a pocket on both sides. So they're really just comfortable and super convenient to put my phone, my keys, them at the gym or when I'm out walking PD, I can, you know, put all my stuff in here. It's so convenient to have pockets and leggings. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go back to regular leggings now. So I'm very high-waisted. As you can see, I'm on a pretty, like, cropped shirt today, and they're really high-waisted, like my belly button's here. So really comfortable. They, so they come in a bunch of different colors and actually three different lengths. Um, I have three pairs of them now. I have two, just like the ones I just showed you, the black 
uh, long length and then they also have two lengths of shorts and a bunch of different colors so I have the longer version of their short in gray which I really like they're super comfortable I will note like I'm five foot ten and they come almost all the way down to my knee so if you're looking for a longer short definitely recommend those but I will probably try the shorter version next I kind of assumed that the shorter version would be too short and I didn't want them to be like what looked like my old volleyball shorts that I wore in high school but the longer ones I mean they're so comfortable and nice I just wanted something a little bit like you know kind of like slightly higher than my knees so I'll try probably try the shorter ones whenever I buy another pair but they're really nice um, really comfortable I've worn them out much especially right now they also have the pockets too so really perfect for hanging around the house now that it's starting to get a little bit warmer outside but also you know the longer length is nice because I still feel really comfortable like walking the dog and everything in them because they are so long so definitely recommend those very affordable and you can get them on Amazon all right, and the last two items I'm going to talk about are kind of more food um, related. So the first one is actually this box of wine here. So I really like box wine. I think it's really convenient to have. It lasts longer. You don't have to buy multiple bottles. And I, you know, have always tried Boda Box and Black Box. Those are kind of the two brands that I've tried. You've probably heard of them if you drink wine. That's kind of been the go-to that I always get when I want to get a box of wine. I love all their different flavors, red or white. But when I went to the store to get a box, kind of right when everything with the coronavirus is really starting to pick up, everyone, I guess, had had the same idea to pick up a box. So it was really picked over my normal kinds from Boda Box and Black Box were all picked over so they had this one this was the only one they had in a red wine left in the boxes and I'm really someone who likes seasonal wines like I like white when it's warm outside and I want red when it's still kind of cool out so I really wanted red so I went ahead and tried this one by the brand Lab it is kind of like a red blend and it's honestly so so good I'm like mad I hadn't tried it before I had heard that their rosé was pretty good so I figured I would try that once it starts getting warmer out but I had and tried this brand yet but I'm really impressed with it it's a really good combo of like kind of dry and sweet you know kind of like a typical red blend that you would have but definitely recommend it I don't think really was more expensive than the other kind so if you're looking for another red wine or if your store was picked over like mine and you need to try something else try this one out all right and the last item I want to talk about is actually a snack so if you're like me you're eating up all your snacks and you need something new to try um, because everything that you're having you're just eating up either really, either really quickly or you already have it in your house and you don't want it so I tried this birthday cake granola from Safe and Fair. Safe and Fair is a company I've been wanting to order from and try for a while I just hadn't gotten around to it they're really good about being like really allergy friendly for a lot of like the major allergens so like for example this one is free from the nine so it has no peanuts tree nuts milk eggs wheat soy shellfish fish or sesame you know it also has no artificial ingredients preservatives high fructose corn syrup and trans fat and the overall ingredients are all like words I can read a really kind of like a more clean snack food um, but this tastes so good you would never know that it didn't have all of those things in it um, you know sometimes when you do get some of those types of snacks they're not always as good but this you could have fooled me and told me that this was absolutely horrible for me I would have believed you this is so so good got a bunch of other things from them that I'm excited to try but I've been seeing this I heard people talk about this and I wanted to get my hands on it so I've already opened this tried it and I had to include it in this video because it is so good. Um, I know they're still shipping right now too because I just ordered within the last two weeks. If you're looking for some snacks, they do have a lot of good items on here. Granolas, snacks, cookies. Um, they have brownie mixes, all sorts of different stuff on there. So definitely check it out, but definitely try this granola because it is to die for. All right guys, and that's gonna conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and some of these products can be helpful for you if you're looking for things to try while you're at home or bored or things to try in the future. Hopefully this video could give you some relief from all the crazy names that craziness that is going on right now so anyways if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays thanks again for watching Morgan's Menu and I hope you have a great day bye guys mm -hmm.